Okay, so with Valentine's Day being a couple of days away, I have decided to go ahead and uh, design a few Valentine's Day gifts uh, on this video. And uh, the files for it and any links will be down in the description. So uh, let's get started. Uh, first thing we're going to do, it, it's Valentine's Day, so obviously heart's the shape to go to. You're going to go down here to your basic shapes tool. You're going to click on it, and then up here, you're going to choose the heart shape. Okay. And we're going to hold control and click and drag so that it comes out even, as opposed to being all funky. So we'll make it even, and we'll start out by doing, let's say, a, uh, a cute little five inch. So we release. Up here, we're nice and even. Uh, we've got our lock ratio locked. We're going to just select and uh, click five here. We're going to enter it in, press enter, and then you know it's five by five. Now, I want to do some fun stuff for this, so we're initially going to do a contour. We're going to click over here. I want a quarter inch border around the entire thing. I only want it to go one step and I want it to go inside. So an inside contour and we're going to make it uh, white is fine. We're just going to step in one time. Then now that that's done, we're going to go up here and we're going to right click the black to give us a line. That'll be of course after we go ahead and break the contour group apart. Now you've got our inside. We right click black and there it is. Now before we go any further we're going to click the outside line here and we're going to make it a hairline because we're going to want this to cut out. Then our inside we're going to right click it and turn the frame type into an empty power clip frame. Okay, now using the texture pattern file that I have uh, already made and linked in a previous video, you can find it, uh, link to that video will be in the description too, it's fine. Uh, we're just going to go over, we're going to look at these and we're just going to pick one. Um, so this is really sexy. I like the way it looks. Um, this one too, but we're going to use this one for now. So we're just going to control C to copy, go back over here. We're going to click edit power clip so that we're inside it and then we're going to paste right here inside it. Now that's cute and everything, but I actually want it to be um, upright. And I want it to go, so we're going to go 270 degrees, we're going to turn it. And then we are good to go. All right, now we need to make it a bit bigger. Obviously, this doesn't fill the entire heart. So we're going to drag it up here a bit. We're going to control. Well, actually, before we do that, let's go back here to our nudge distance, change it to 0.15. Because as we remember from the other video, these are 0.3 cross. So 0.15 makes for a lot better. Then we're going to control D and we're just going to walk it right over until it marries like that. And then control D again is going to bring it where it needs to be. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and just drag half of it, control D and walk it down. Okay. Alright, so here's what we've got so far, guys. Now we're going to go ahead and make a few new hearts. I want to make some small ones. Hold control again, draw it out, and we'll make these half inch tall. We're going to go ahead and left click, 
to make the inside white, even though it doesn't look like anything changed. It did. And then we're just going to bring it over here. Drop it right on top of the power clip. And then we're going to control D to duplicate. And we're just going to drag a few of these around. These don't have to be exactly matched, but let's do it this way. Then I would like to go ahead and put a name in here. And to do that, we're just going to select text and go over here. We're going to choose whatever we want to type. So let's, uh, for me, I'm going to type in Emily. That's the girl that I'm going to give this to. I'm going to bold it out real quick, increase the size a bit, drag it sort of towards the middle, and then we're going to go back over to our contour tool. I want it to be 0.125 away from the inside, and we're going to make it white, apply one time. Now, that's cutesy, but I would rather it be a different script. So let's select up here, change it over, and then, yeah, that's way better. All right, we'll fix our nudge distance now. And there you go. Okay, and you can do you can change this to whatever you like. Uh, when I save the file, I'm actually going to just move this off of it, and then inside these little hearts, you can do all kind of stuff. I'll show you what I've done. I've already actually made this, um, and it's over here. So this is what I ended up doing for her. You've got the text, you've got the cool little boxes, and I just added some text right inside so that the B mine will be engraved, but the white won't be, and this gives us a nice 3D effect. And then I made a cute little box here. And that I made uh, specifically with the rectangle tool, and I just rounded it over to apparently 0 0.41 inches. I was to take that to zero, it's straight back to a rectangle. If you're wondering how I came up with the 0.41 inches, it's easy. I start at zero, and then I just go up until it makes a perfectly little circle. And you see, there you go. You see I've got two dots here, one, two. I want that to be completely rounded, so I just go up and click until they they go away. At point four, it's still there. Point four one, it's gone. All right. So let's move on to the next gift because this just needs to be engraved and sent to the printer. So we'll drag this off to the side here. I'll delete this for you. I'm going to leave this open so that you can put your own text inside. Let's drag it over here. And let's get started on the next of the patterns that I'd like to do. And that's going to be a heart as well. And we're going to make this smaller. We're going to make this a two inch heart. Okay, so a two inch heart. We're going to hairline it. I am going to duplicate, flip it, and step it over. To here. And then flip it, flip it, flip it. And I'm just control Ding this whole way out.
I've already done this uh, on my laser, so I know how many of these I need. I need uh, eight for each side. So four, eight, twelve, thirteen. I need five more. Drag and drop. Control D. Drag and drop. Control D. Control D. Okay, so this gives us a lot more than we need. So I can go ahead and delete these off. Delete these off. And delete these off. Now it gives me eight little hearts that are actually going to be glued together and then I'm going to notch them and they're going to be become the stand for this guy and I'll show you a picture of that here in just a minute Now that that's done, let's get on to the next project. The next project is going to be something that I want to do um, for individuals. I actually want to take and make these three inches. And I want to go ahead and fill it with black because of what my plan is. It's already a hairline, but we're going to go ahead and turn it into an empty power clip frame. Then we're going to go in and we're going to actually edit the power clip. We'll do everything else from inside here. All right, let's make some new hearts. Holding control, dragging it. We'll make these half inch hearts to start but I actually want to have a nice border so we're going to make the border a full one and we're going to drag and drop a few of these around they don't have to be exact so matter of fact we probably don't want them to be exact we want them to be bubbled up around All right, and then we're going to come back and we're going to make another one. So we're going to control C and V to copy and paste. We're going to cut this down and we're going to make this a quarter inch by quarter inch. And then we're just going to drag it and fill it in a little too. We'll zoom in a little so that we can see what we're doing here. And we don't have to put as many of the quarter inch as we did the half. We just want to spread a few around. All right, that's really pretty. Now, we're going to duplicate one more time. We're actually going to bring this down even smaller and do eighth inch. And then let's drag them around too. All right, then control D to duplicate. Now remember, we don't have to fill every square inch of this thing. We just want to have enough to make it pretty. And about an eighth inch is as small as I'm wanting to go for these. Now we're going to drag over all of these. We're going to left click white so that they actually do fill white.
and then we're going to back right out of here. Now, isn't that pretty? Now, what do we want to do? We want to do a, yeah, let's go over here, we're going to copy and paste. We're going to make this, no, I don't want to do that. We're going to do it with a contour. So we're going to click this guy. We're going to contour away, outside contour. Um, I think 0.2 inches should be fine. And then we're going to do white to white. We're going to hit apply. And although you can't see it, we're going to go here, we're going to right click, break contour, group apart, and we're going to click this outside box, and we're going to right click it black. And it's a hairline, and it'll go ahead and cut. Now, this one is showing hairline, but we don't want it to. So we're going to make it a half point, and then it won't cut. So. Now we're looking good. And this is awesome for its own little gift. And these are cool to just like make and hand out to people or whatever. Just because, you know, giggles or whatever. And you can also go inside here edit the power clip and you can actually add text to any of these that you'd like and then just drag it down and put it however you want in here and the cool thing is different hearts you can have different size text or different size words Specifically, you know, love fits there really well. Maybe we want to do laugh here. And we'll draw it down. So it'll actually be a smaller font, but it'll still be legible. You can still read it. So, And you can just go through and put whatever you like inside these hearts. And then just a simple print and run, and you're good to go. Now, um, something that I personally like to do is I'll create an entire sheet of these guys and I'll mass produce them and we'll go ahead and we'll do that uh, next because this I've already made so I can take pictures of it. This, let's, uh, I'm going to copy it off here, control C, I'm going to control N to create a new file. And we're going to call this Valentine's Handouts. And it is a 24 by 12, so everything's fine there. I'm going to control V to paste this on here real quick. And then I'm going to go over here to step and repeat. We're going to step it down. Zero because of the way this point is going to be outside of there and we're just going to go one two you see that gives us a nice break and then we're going to cancel the offset for vertical and we're going to space between objects an eighth of an inch and we're going to go however many it takes and that's going to fill us up right here now as you can see this by itself is enough to do what is that, 18. However, if we fix this by Control-C, Control-V while we have everything selected, and then we just flip it like so, we can drag it down. All right, and then We can actually do a negative, and let's figure it out. I'm just going to guess, and we're going to say negative half inch. 
that's not even close to enough. So, oh no, that's a straight half inch. I'm sorry, I didn't hit negative. Negative, half inch. And you know what? That actually looks good to me. So let's uh, apply again and again. And we almost have enough to do 24. So let's back it up a little. And there we have enough to do 24 on the same sheet. That looks good. I like that. Boom. And now we're sorted. Cute little hearts all over the place. Plenty of everything, but not too, too many. So first thing, we're going to no offset. We're going to go down. Spacing between objects is zero. Click to, oh, 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 oh. I'm not selected the whole thing. That could be an issue. Click to. And we're going to copy, paste, and we're actually going to rotate by 180 degrees. We're going to do that instead of using the flipper button because if we just use the flipper, it'll jack up the text. Perfect. Okay, and now everything here is good. And we will save this as handouts page one. And there's a reason for that. So, first off, save as handouts page one. Save. Then, we're actually going to come in here, and I'm going to send this to my printer so it can go ahead and start. So I'm going to go to my mini, I'm going to do 50% speed, 100% power, and it's going to be combined. I'm going to manually focus, the page size is correct, and I'm going to cut at 20% speed. I'm going to hit OK, apply, OK, and I'm going to go load the laser. I'll be right back. And we're actually going to go in here to object manager it's right here we're going to keep these since these are our cutouts we're going to delete the rest we hold shift to select it now we've deleted all of these we're good to go we're actually going to create some new text and put inside here and this is going to be for those of you that want to hand these out for you know, random gifts, or if you wanted to do a business uh, business handout, you could put the company logo and information, and this is going to be on the back of what we initially engrave. So for me, I'm wanting to say, um, Do this, I want to center it up real nice. Then I want to bold it. And I'm actually going to make this bigger. And I think I want to change the font on this too, something prettier. I like that better. Sometimes I find it's easier to find the center by dragging off and re-clicking. If 
Oh, all right, so center should be right in here somewhere. There it is. But you see, even though that's the center, it looks bad because it looks low. So I actually want to bring it up some, make it look more like the center, even though it's technically not the center. Then I'm going to Control D, drag the new copy over, and click it to this center. Ten point one three eight. That's where we need this. Ten point one three eight. We're going to copy, paste, rotate by 180 degrees, and then drag and drop down here where we want it. These look fine. I'm actually going to drag over everything, except for I'm not going to get the hearts. You see the, the hearts are still outside my box on the top and bottom. Then I control D. And I know these are three inches apart, so I'm just going to reduce it by three inches. And it's not quite where I need it to be. So I'll drag it down a little further. And then Control D again, and it'll already match up. And we're going to save this file as page 2. And we just hit save and we're good to go. Now there are other ways of doing all the duplication needed for this, but I didn't want to touch the original outlines here. And that will give you two really awesome uh, types of gifts for your Valentine's Day season. And I'm sure you can see ways to improve this, ways to do better, to do more, to expand on the ideas. By all means, knock it out. Put your creations in the comments below. I enjoy it. Now I'll show you a couple of pictures of the finished product. And uh, remember, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe to my channel.